What's up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm at Castaic, uh, and it's all about the striper boils for me. Getting a striper on top uh, or a bass on top, some nice top water action. It's all what I'm all about today. Uh, if I can't find it or it gets windy or whatever the case is, I may try some other techniques just to get some fish going and make a nice video for you guys. Um, shout out to Mayor Megardishian. He's the first winner. Hopefully, I didn't butcher your name there, buddy. Um, he's the first winner of the Castaic Slam Challenge, which is awesome. It's super exciting. So if you haven't seen that video or if you want to try the challenge, it's a striper, small mouth, large mouth, got to be a subscriber. Uh, shoot me some video of it on Instagram uh, and shout me out in the Instagram. Tag me, whatever it is, so I know that it's current and everything. Uh, yeah, and I got uh, three more T-shirts left, so that's kind of cool. Um, and I got another uh, bigger challenge with a bigger prize coming up uh, soon. I'm still working out some of the details, but it's going to be it's going to be really nice. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you on the water. They're keyed in on like one little fish. So you kind of have to get lucky. See it. Ooh. It's like see a swirl like that right before they get the fish. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Nice large. Awesome. That's cool. All right, that was cool. First cast, nice little top water, large mouth. Nothing to write home about, but love the top water. All right, so this is cool. I was able to find this nice little cove where there's a lot of top water going off without having to go too far, which is awesome. Um, mostly just uh, bass, but I think there's probably a striper or two mixed up in here. And you never know if there's shad, you know, the striper school could come through. So I'm just going to hang out here and uh, see if I can keep catching some topwater bass. So I've gotten a slam here a couple of times, mostly on accident. So I'm going to actually try to get one today. So I got the large mouth. I think small mouth might be kind of easy too. I think it's going to come down to the striper today. So that's going to be kind of cool to try to do. Bad fish, man. All right, little drop shot guy. Pretty fish, chunky. It's reeling it in, it feels small. Hey. Little dude, thank you. Wow. Came off. That sucks. Wasn't paying attention. I was talking to my man, Bass Raider. Oh my god, what the f? Same spot. I mean. Alright, so I've caught one on the top water and a bunch on the old RoboWorm drop shot. I'm just uh, kind of targeting these little shady pockets, coves, points, things like that. Uh, just for now, I mean, I'm kind of waiting to see if the striper bite picks up um, in the area where they kind of hit. So I'm just going to kind of cruise around these points and see if hopefully the striper will get going and I can get on top water bite. Oh, 
<laughs> Super fish. <laughs> really fired up. Little Smalley, all I need is a striper now. Baby fish. So just to show you guys the types of place I'm fishing, and there's no guarantee there's gonna be fish here every time, but this is what I'm looking for today specifically. So you got a main lake point right back here, right there, very sharp, deep drop off there, and shade along here. Plus the wind is coming in this way, so you got a little current whipping around there. And I just kind of position the boat, you know, I'm in the rental boat, I'm not using the anchor, position the rental boat at the point, toss my drop shot robo worm into each of those little coves, let it sink all the way, you know, let it dance a little bit back to the boat. And I've gotten one, two, three, four, like five or six hits in that area. It's a very, very popular area for fish to hang out and ambush prey as it comes around that, that windswept point there. So again, you may not catch them at exactly this spot, but that's what I'm looking for as far as locations go. Off this point, good fish actually. Oh, it might be smallmouth. I've caught some good smallmouth off this point. Nice, it's not huge. Chunky dude. Beautiful. Thanks, dude. All right, the chase is on. They're boiling out here. I've gotten pretty close, but no good cast just yet. They're coming up big, giant boil, but they're not staying up very long. So I can't, you just kind of have to get lucky in the rental boat and they come near you. Man, there's a few boats out here kind of helping point him out. So that's cool. When you're chasing boils, there's a little dance with yourself, and that is you're gambling on how long they're gonna stay up and how close you can get to them. And you just gotta time it just right. You gotta get a long, that's why I use a pretty long rod, kind of stout, so I can just cast it as far as I can um, because you just don't have time to get near them these days, um, especially if there's other boats around too, so yeah. Like I said, it's a delicate dance. All you guys that chase stripers in the rental boats, you know what I'm saying, or even not in the rental boats. It's that timing, like how long is it gonna be up? How much time do I have to get over there before I spook them? That last one looked like it was staying up for a decent amount of time. Uh, I could have, I should have got closer and got one good cast and I cast right on the edge of it. Uh, but it's really exciting. I just, ah, oh, they just went down again and who knows where they'll come back up. All right. 
right, as you can see, it's very windy. There's a lot of boats out here. Um, when there's a little chop on the water, it is very difficult to see the boils unless you're coming from the opposite side. So I'm just kind of messing around, see if I cannot get one more shot at them. I hate giving up, especially when I'm this close and I've gotten so close, but I've not seen the boils in a while. Bass fishing's uh, very tough right now because of all the wind and all the boat traffic. So I don't know. Uh, this might be it. All right, everyone, that is a wrap from Castaic. All right, so the goal was striper boils, an update, give you guys an update, see what's going on out here so I can see how uh, aggressive I have to be coming out here just to get into some fun striper boils. Uh, so I spent the first couple hours kind of looking at coves and trying to find some isolated ones because that's just more fun if you can find isolated boils, whether it's bass or striper, in the backs of coves and stuff like that. I was able to find some bass right off the bat, which is awesome. Uh, and then after I caught, I, I caught a decent amount of bass today. I'm not sure, really sure how many, nice smallmouth. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as you get two species of bass, it always comes down to that third one. And uh, I was fortunate because I got into some striper boils, um, main lake stuff, but I could not get to them in time. I had a couple chances where I was just out of reach by a couple of feet or a couple of seconds with the cast. Um, and that was it. I, I got so close and I just kind of watched them move from this one spot and move all the way around to uh, over towards the main uh, point, center point. I mean, they moved a long ways in uh, a very short amount of time. And this was a massive school. They would come up for a few seconds and then go down 10 minutes later, pop up 100 yards away. So in a rental boat, it's a little tricky. You got to kind of anticipate their moves. Um, and also get very lucky, which I'm sure I've said many, many times before, but it, it's so such a blast. I mean, these things are feeding so voraciously. They're like jumping out of the water and just, it is nuts. And if you can hook one, it's even nuttier. And I still have not got a striper this season and I cannot wait because striper on top is one of the best uh, ways to fish, one of the most exciting things ever. So anyway, Shout out again to my man, Mayor. Uh, he won the Castaic Slam Challenge. Uh, I got three more t-shirts, so you get a slam, you know, hit me up, do the thing, and uh, it's all yours. I almost got myself one today. And that's just kind of how it is. You get two of the species, no matter which two it is, and that third one's a little tricky, but it's a blast to try to catch. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.